Hello everyone, this is Soon Thousand, and today I'll show you how to use the new UI for my new toolkit I made. So this is for the Maze 4G. It's a lot of the, the new toolkits I'm going to make will have this UI as well. So starting off to root it, you press uh, install HC drivers, then you press go. Since I already have it installed, it's going to pop up. I'm just going to cancel it. Then you register at HTC Dev. Click it, hit go, take it to the site, register, fill out the form, make sure you stay logged in though, that's important. Next you get your token ID, press go. Since I'm actually using my phone right now, I can't show you exactly, but you'll have your token ID popping up, and when you see it, let's say for example, from right here to right here is my token ID. You're going to right click, press mark, you have to highlight it all. So let's say this is my token ID. You right click it, which copies it. Make sure you close the command prompt whenever you finish using it. Then you go to submit token ID, press go. And if you see this page, it means you're not logged into HTC Dev's website. So let me go back log in. Now I'm logged in, let me refresh it, now I'm here. You can also follow HTC's picture instructions. Your token ID is going to look somewhat like this, or like that. When you get it, you're going to right click, press paste, and hit go, or submit. When you submit it, you should get an email with your token ID, you download it, then you put it in the data folder. So you can have it in here, which mine will be right there. So you can have your token ID right there. And you only have two files here. You're going to have a maze, whatever version it is, plus the data folder. So after you put your token ID back in the folder, press unlock, bootloader, hit go. So you can drop your phone into recovery, no, I mean into bootloader, then to fast boot. That's going to submit your token ID. To your phone. If you do this and um, when you hit yes, it's going to master reset your whole phone. So make sure you do a backup. After you do that, you install one of these recoveries, whatever you want. I personally use 5.0.2.7. Uh, there's also the newer version and there's also a touch version of Clockwork Mod. There's also Twerp 2.0, which I never use personally, and just a stock recovery. So you want to flash either one of the clockwork mods or twerp and press flash recovery and the same screen pop up. And then here are some optional features I added. You got Fox's kernel, a stock Canadian kernel for like Windows Mobile or Mobilicity, whatever other carriers there are in Canada for that you have the Mies. And the stock T-Mobile US kernel. Here are some extra commands I added. Ubuntu bootloader, Ubuntu recovery, relock the bootloader. And here are some links. Maze development for Android Dev and for the XDA. You can donate to me if you want. A fact thread that I have in the XDA. If you want to flash a stock ROM to your phone, it's on the Android Dev website. And the toolkit thread for whatever device. For example, this one is the Maze. So... You can have for two such for Android Dev and the XEA. And here's some extras I added to this program. Uh, uh, what was his name? Give me one second, I'll give you his name. Uh, don't want you to see my PMs, so hold on a second. By Hamsteer, that dude right there. All right, with this tool, let me refocus this. You can batch install APKs, backup uh, your APKs as well. You can, you can do a lot of things with this tool. It's very helpful. 
So for example, I browse on my desktop, I, I should have set CPU. Yep, so CPU, click whatever APKs you want, hit next, and installs on your phone. And, oops, let me close my PM. And back to my tool. You got uh, the bloater from Bing, or Bling, I mean. This will remove it completely, and this is just to remove the since the bloater is just to hide from the phone, which, but still on. This is the remover where it completely removes it. That's for only sense enabled phones. So the Maze, Sensation, whatever other phones have they have sense. And Perm this works for gingerbread and um, ice cream sandwich. And I can confirm it works now. I put my phone to stock, put the recovery, and I edited the commands until I got it to work. So please don't tell me it doesn't work because I know it works. <laughs> so if you have any questions, please reply to one of the threads. You have either this one. Oops, I gotta fix that then. Oh no. Oh yeah. Uh, if, you, if you use this tool, make sure you cancel it and close the command. Or else nothing else in this tool will work. So I closed it. Now you see how my threads opened? Or the development section. Alright, let me open my threads. So yeah. Please reply to my thread. Do not PM me. I get a lot of PMs for asking help. Just post it on here. I can make it easier on everybody else and other people can answer your questions too. Thanks.